All right, good morning, sir, friend. It's Mitty Man coming at you again for Walker's Music. I still call it Walker's Music, even though I'm really not up and running as Walker's Music anymore, but I still say the same thing because I still, I still recognize it as my studio. I'm sure they say Walker's Studio right now, but nevertheless, y'all already know what time it is. And I give praise and honor to God. Give him all the glory. As y'all see from my title this this morning, I'm not. I don't do the videos as regular as I used to do them. But you see the title that says "Holy Ghost Power." People, everything that happened in life, I do believe there's a grand scheme behind it and a purpose, and we know. According to the Bible, the Word of God said all things work together for the good of those who are called by God's purpose. In other words, to those that love the Lord and are called to His purpose. Um, you know, a lot of times we think that we are going to always be a certain way, myself included. I've always been a warrior. I had a warrior-like spirit and go get up and go get it, you know, attitude. That was that was the way, that was my attitude about things, strong and ready to face whatever. I wasn't afraid of nothing. If it got in my way between what I saw, what I wanted, and if it got between it, it something was going to have to move. That was just this warrior spirit in me. But after... After I had this episode, people with the sickness back in February, it hit me really hard, you know, something I never did expect, and it brought my strength down, my strength level. I still want to do what I used to do. I, I still got that spirit and the warrior-like spirit, but, but the illness slowed me down to a degree. I thank God that I'm yet able to play a little bit and I'm yet able to do a little bit like I'm teaching of the choirs and everything. I, I'm still sort of up to do that and everything and I got the strength to do that. But I noticed though that my strength is not like it used to be. It's, it's, it's not there anymore like it used to be. So, But the warrior-like spirit hadn't left. So it made me think that I can yet do what I used to do. And in so many ways, I think that's a good thing because it keeps you from getting down in the dumps and getting all, you know, depressed and everything. I don't get like that. I just remember, I just got to remember that I only can do so much right now and I just got to wait on time. And uh, I do believe that that time will come back. We got Bible study tonight. We also got revival meeting tonight. So I'm asking everybody to be patient and be understanding with old Mitty Man because, like I said, we got to try to get to the revival meeting. Then we're going to come back and we're going to try to get to the Bible study, which will be at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Y'all know the routine. But I'm just saying, people, what we need is the Holy Ghost power. When you are running on low power on your own, which we could say well, our own power, but really, truly, we have no power at all. Jesus got all power. But when we get the Holy Ghost power to run, we get we need to we need to cut into the Holy Ghost power line, and then we are able to go. He will give us the power we need to do whatever it might be, especially if it's the will of God. Now you know we sometimes we try to get out there on our own and do our own little thing. And we don't make God a part of it, and then we expect God to bless it. No, it don't happen that way. Think about King David, a man after God's own heart. And just look at all the mess David did. You just think about it now. Look at all the mess that David done. David was a mess, y'all. You know it. Read about the life of David. But yet God said he was a man after his own heart. God loved David, even got his son in his lineage. Jesus was in the lineage of David to call him the son of David. And it is said that David, in the future, in the future coming kingdom, David will be one of the rulers. 
I don't know this now. I'm just saying this here because of some some thoughts some thoughts I picked up here and there. They said that David will be doing some type of ruling in the millennial. He will be a ruler in the kingdom of God. I don't know, but you remember, we all going to be kings and priests in the new kingdom. Ain't, that, ain't, you, ain't you glad about it? I know I am, people. So I just wanted to say that. And like I said, we're going to go to Revival Meeting tonight, my home church, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. And uh, we're going to go and uh, we're going to try to go and uh, enjoy it. My pastor, Dr. Donnelly Green Sr., the evangelist for the week, we're going to do a three night revival Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Going to be Reverend James Turner out of Edison, Georgia. Everybody should know or be well familiar with uh, Reverend James Turner, the dynamic preacher and a singing man, one that we can preach and will preach. So we just asking everybody to just bear with us and come on. If you're not going anywhere tonight, come on around to Antioch Missionary Baptist Church if you're in this area and join us for a good, outstanding revival. And also join me tonight at 11, 11 o'clock. P.M. is the Lord say so for the Bible study. You can listen online or by way of the web or call in. Either way you would like to do it. It's your prerogative. We just say we give God the glory and give him all the praise. Pray the Lord for our middle man's strength. And we're going to pray and continue to pray for each and every one of you, all my side friends. Y'all know who y'all. Some of you I know I haven't been, been very verbal lately with you. But y'all know. It, it, there's nothing wrong with our relationship. I'm just, it just said right about now, it, since that happened, I got, like I said, my level went down. Motivation kind of went down a little bit, and, and like I say, my strength level went down. So I'm not able to really just do a whole lot of conversing. I converse a while, then I get kind of tired. But y'all just bear with me. I'm coming back slowly, but surely. I guarantee you, I will be back at full capacity, just as soon as possible. Nothing happens before time. Remember that. This little man saying whatever you get, whatever you get into, if God ain't in it, the best you come out of it, because it's going to come to nothing. Little man saying peace, good day.